Each year, the Xinyuan Buddhist Order sponsors a lantern floating ceremony on Memorial Day in Honolulu, Hawaii. The act of floating lanterns is meant to console the spirits of the deceased and symbolize remembrance and love for those that have passed. Before the thousands of people who participate each year, it can also be an emotional experience as they reflect on the loss of those close to them. In 2018, Xinyuan Foundation invited six educators to come to Hawaii to experience lantern floating firsthand and share their perspectives on this one-of-a-kind ceremony. As they arrive, each was given a lantern and a place to reflect on who they would send their messages to and what they would say. Like so many people, I'm sure, I got in there and I had my plan uh, and it was a little overwhelming to remember my father-in-law who passed last year, who was a huge influence on me and a, a dear friend from childhood who'd moved out to uh, Hawaii and had passed and I had not been back since he passed and it was, it was more emotional. I never thought that I would have an opportunity to actually participate because just, I'm of a different faith. And so when the opportunity came, I wanted to come honor my mother and my father and my grandparents. I know that this is to honor our ancestors and those who have gone before us. So I wrote messages to my mom and dad and my grandmother who are deceased and wrote a message to all the animals, deceased animals. This event is tied to ancestors. It's made me think of my parents who died when I was younger in my 20s. What I wrote is to them because I know they have been with me even though they haven't physically been with me. And then that led me to the second side, which is to all the moms and dads who have left their children, to let them know that their children still love them and that their love is still felt. I thought of all the children of the world, and to be specific, the children of Yemen, Syria, Lib Libya, and Palestine. Um, these are children who are going too fast and too early. I'm a second grade teacher and I had a student pass away. Close after that I had a, another close friend's little girl pass away. The balloons are in honor of them and the children of Sandy Hook and all children everywhere. Death is such a hard grieving experience but this is a celebration of life and I want to honor that. After completing their lanterns, guests were ushered to a seating area near the stage to watch the moving ceremony, colorful celebration, and inspiring words from Her Holiness. Following the ceremony, it's time for the guests to join thousands of other attendees to light and float their lanterns. Getting into the water and releasing the lantern was a bit of letting go, but it was also a fulfillment. The energy that all of that light created inside of me, I feel like, I don't know, it was, it was just fulfilling. I always thought of those who passed and 
especially close families and others. They live in my heart and I always think of them. So that was very powerful to me. I just was thinking about all this as I was letting it go, watching it, following and joining the big crew of the lantern. When I got up to walk over, I had been thinking about that moment. And I knew that I wasn't as comfortable walking into the water as I wanted to be. And then Scott was there. I've gotten to know him and he's just a great person. And he was just so gracious immediately to do it and it just added something really special. It made it even more powerful to take my lantern, my memory of the people who, who I wanted to, to connect with and to remember, and, and hers as well. And I had heard her speak so lovingly about her parents and, and how much it meant to her to put them and their names on the lantern. So it was extraordinary to be part of that with her. the combination of water on fire because they're such opposites and so putting that power into the water and having the power of the water take it away was was something that meant something to watch my my wishes and my thank yous move beyond I sensed both being myself alone, but then as part of the larger connective group. So it made me feel one as a part of many, if that makes sense. And that brought like a, a great sense of peace to me. This experience is going to really share with me and share with others in my family and my community an experience from the Buddhist faith that was inclusive, where there were so many people sharing love and memory of people that was near and dear to them and looking at all of the expression of love. The theme of, of Many Rivers, One Ocean uh, really struck me as, as, you know, and the lanterns were symbolic of all of those lights, all of those memories, all of those spirits coming together. And I think this was inclusive of every culture, every religion, every human being. It makes me think about how close we are than far apart. made me resolve to spend more time reflecting on the meaning of life and the meaning of, of the lives that have gone before mine. And so I'm going to resolve to s spend more time reflecting on that as I go forward. When I think about my path to peace and connecting that to all the lanterns that were floating, it's a beautiful visual because I can see all of those ripples moving outward and I can be that ripple too. All of the people who have come before me are that ripple. I am that ripple now and hopefully the people that I connect with can be that ripple in the future. It's amazing that we can have all of these lanterns together and it's so tranquil and peaceful, which is what we want for the world. While the lantern floating ceremony is intended to give all of us a chance to connect to the people we've lost, for these six educators, it was also the chance to experience and learn about the remembrance and grieving process that we all share as part of the circle of life. <laughs>